next? Two pieces of chicken and two burgers, love. No more chicken, just burgers. OK, two burgers, then. You? Two of your finest mystery meat burgers, please, garçon. Ooh, just in the nick of. Actually, can you make it four burgers if you've got no chicken? OK. Sorry, no burgers. Excuse me, I think you'll find those two are my burgers. She's having four. The lady you referred to ordered two, then I ordered two. I'm having four. Sorry, no burgers. Now, look, she changed her mind after I placed my order for the two remaining... Oh, but... shut up, whining fatty! I'm in front of you and I've ordered the last four burgers. I'm sorry, what did you call me? She called you fatty. I was asking her. I called you fatty. <gasps> Have you got a problem with that? Fancy having lovely brown hair and dyeing your roots grey. How's it going? Yeah, can't complain. Bottle of beer, please. Hey, Jeff, how are you? Late night last night. No. Really early one, actually. Really early. Jeff had a big date last night. I didn't have a date. Uh, last night in the old town. Mm. Lovely romantic dinner he was having. It wasn't a romantic dinner. It was... It was a business meeting. I must say, we didn't really have you down as the broad-minded type. Is she pre-op or actually in transition? Oh, God. Bless him, he's got all shy. I don't know. <laughs> Young love makes them all giddy, doesn't it? Right, <laughs> sunbeds. Excuse me, uh, is this seat free? As far as I know. Oh, cheers. Bottle of beer, please. Oh, 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 no, sorry, I, I didn't mean to be rude. Um, are you Mel? Yeah, have we met? No. Well, how do you know who I am? Lucky guess. Uh, that and the 30-foot eye post of you advertising your shop as you drive into Benidorm. Oh, yeah, forgotten about that. How is the mobility business? Been better. Yeah, I know how difficult it can be. I'm in business myself. Oh, uh, yeah. What are you in? Spanish property. Really? So she got the last four? Yes. But she only ordered two to begin with? Yes, I know. She can't change her order after you've got the last two. Are you just going to repeat everything I've said to you, only in a slightly higher voice? Greedy cow, who's she with? The Costa Blanca Charm School. How do I know? All right, no need to bite me, I don't. I might have to. There's nothing else to eat around here. <laughs> Sorry. Don't have to apologise. Sorry, I'm not very exciting today, but you really tired me out last night. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I can witter on sometimes. Oh, right, you mean sex-wise. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Did you hear them banging next door? No. Gosh, sounds like everybody was at it last night. I think it was a full moon or something. No, yeah, I mean, they were banging on the wall just to keep the noise down. Oh, I see. Excellent. Well, they don't call me... loud sex Martin for nothing, you know? <laughs> they don't really call me that, you know? I didn't think they did. Do you have to, the pair of you? Oh. Leave us alone, we're on holiday. <laughs> Man? No, I'm not. I'm very loose. Oh. Well, don't spare us any details, will you? It's freezing in there. Well, there you are. Look, your towel's down there. Hey, Tell. Turn coolly all round. I can't see him. Oh, just look at him. I don't think I've ever seen a more beautiful baby. Oh. You obviously haven't seen pictures of me as a baby, then. 
You were never a bonnie baby. Thanks. Your head was too big. We used to get stopped in the street. People didn't know what to make of you. Hat stand? I used to say to them, there's nothing wrong with her. She'll grow into it. And she did. Big feet as well for a child. Why don't we try for another baby? I wouldn't mind how big its head was. Another baby? Yeah, that's just what we need right now. I didn't say have another baby, I just said try for one. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> She'll never be able to have another baby at her age. And if she does, it'll be good night, Irene, to all her woman spits downstairs. Oh, for God's sake. What are you fiddling about with, Michael? I'm just looking at your scooter. Well, don't. It's not a toy, you know. Go on. Get out me road. It's only looking. Come and sit with us, Michael. Although there's not a lot of room over here, what with your mother's head and her feet. <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> here, if you want something to do, go and ask them over there if they've got anything for the squits. Do you know, you should run holidays for kids, Madge. You really know how to keep them entertained. Listen, Brandy. Um... What? Well, I just wanted to say, and don't get me wrong, I, I, I like a bit of the old rumpy pumpy as much as the next man, but, um... Go on. Well, I don't want this to sound corny or sad, but... Brandy... I'm really falling for you. Really? Yes, really. Well, I fell for you the moment I saw you. So it's nice to hear you're finally catching up. <laughs> Excuse me, um, me and Anna said, have you got anything for the squits? <laughs> Ridiculous. You can order a sandwich. I don't want a sandwich. It's just a bit weird. I've never had a barbecue before. It's always been on all afternoon. It's only just gone two o'clock. Oh. Look, he's back. I'm going to sort this out. Oh, don't argue with him, Gavin. Let's just go to the Chinese buffet across the road. Six euros. Six euros? Haven't you heard there's a credit crunch? Has the barbecue finished? See, finished. But you can still order a salad from the bar. Oh, yes, of course, salad. That's staple of every Benidorm holidaymaker's diet. Come on, let's go over the road. I've not paid for an all-inclusive holiday for everything to be all-inclusive except the food. You didn't pay for anything. The holiday was free. How many bakers did you want? Just two. There's a woman over there. She took four, but she's only had two. Ask her, can you have them? Right. That does it. I don't know why I'm still picking on full. We shouldn't have had such a big breakfast. So, after all that whining, you didn't actually want the other two burgers. What is your problem? I'll tell you my problem. Some little piggy with eyes bigger than her belly, if that's possible, obviously thinks there's a war on, and she has to stockpile food she has no intention of eating. Oh, stick it up your ass! It's unbelievable. Her son didn't even finish the first one. That's my husband. Husband? Sorry. Yeah? What's it got to do with you? Extremely loyal husband, it would seem, the way he's courageously jumped to your defence. Oh, no, my mistake. He's just sitting there like a rather embarrassed child. He doesn't speak English. I think you'll find he probably does. He's just never been able to get a word in edgeways. Here. Here's your burger, you big fat puff. <laughs> ah, you bitch! How dare you! Ah, all right, ah, ladies, go on, now. Yeah. break it off. You yeah. all shabba the hut. Get off my husband, you, you bitch! Ah, I don't want to hear another peep out of either of you two or your bards. Do you understand? Come on, Kevin. Hey, rise above it. Come on, move away. There's nothing to see here. Please, go back to where you came from. The show is over. Oh, my God! Do you know this woman? You could say that. She's my daughter.
What do you mean, told me? If I'd have known you were here, this is the last place I would have come to. You all right, Mick? Bloody hell, all right, Valda. What are you doing here? Hello, Chantal. Hello. Oh, that's never our Michael. Michael, say hello to your Auntie Valda. Hi, Auntie Valda. What are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing here? We're on holiday. We? Yes, we. This is my husband, Vikram. Your husband? Mother. What's his name? Vicky. Vikram is Indian. Well, I didn't think he was bloody Polish. And this must be your fancy man. I've heard all about him. This is my husband. Excuse me. Can you take an episode of the Jerry Springer show somewhere else as you're causing a bottleneck? Look, why don't we go for a cup of tea inside? You can leave Vicky here to play with Michael. They're about the same age. Right, that's it. Come on, we're going. This is exactly what I've been avoiding for the last five years! Hang on, Valda, wait a minute. Beer? Absolutely. What do you reckon all that was about? I don't know. Just riff raff either. You've not said much about your date last night. I told you it was all right. I was speaking to that Scottish fella and his wife in the lifts this morning. Said they'd bumped into you and your lady friend. Why? Yes. Said you made a very nice couple. Did they? Said something about her being a bit older than you. And possibly... Now, I think the word was pre-operative, but I don't know what that means. Look, I met someone on the internet. We met up, and she turned out to be a fella in a dress. All right. You happy now? Oh, son. You know you can tell me anything. And I didn't tell you, because it was a misunderstanding. All right. I don't fancy men, and I certainly don't fancy women who are men. I mean, men who think they're women. I, I mean... Your dad was big mates with that Danny LaRue. We went to see him three times in Manchester. I said to your father, did you realise it was a fella in a frock when you first met him? And he said, it was 1948 and I'd just been demobbed from the Navy. I was bound to make a few mistakes. <laughs> Did have a good sense of humour. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. He's in property. So we're tying up a few deals and he's off tomorrow. Marcus Snelling, business intelligence consultant. What does that mean? Which means he's got his fingers in a lot of pies. So is he. Don't mean you should buy an house off him. I've got my one interested. Never show all your cards at once. Oh, I'm supposed to be relaxing today, but it's hard to switch off. You're like me, workaholic. <laughs> You're right. Oh, yeah. My business associate, Mick Garvey. Nice to meet you, Mick. Marcus Snelling. Yeah, I've heard all about you. Oh, yeah, you've been talking about me, Mel. Well, I've just mentioned you were in property. Yeah, it's a real shame it's not your thing. I've just heard of another property available to me, but I've only bought the cash to secure the one I knew about. Shame. But only take 5,000 euros. Ah, oh, well. Life's a bitch and then you die. A 90,000 euro guaranteed profit for a 5,000 euro stake. Basically, it's a license to print money. <laughs> How do you work them figures out? This estate agent friend. No, you're not interested. No, we're not interested. Well, hang on here. You may as well tell us. He deals with a lot of old biddies that have retired out here but run out of money. Now, he offers them a chance of a lifetime. Sell your house but still live in it. You've got a look at Carol Vorderman. Anybody ever tell you that? Go on. He gives them a ridiculously low valuation on their house, but tells them he feels sorry for their predicament and out of the kindness of his heart can put them in touch with a private cash buyer with no commission to pay as long as they don't breathe a word of this to the agency. Now that is where I come in. What on earth is that smell? Oh, yeah, it's bullshit. Shut up. 
I fly over here, bung the estate agent five grand, take over the deal. I buy a 200,000 euro house off a confused little old lady for 60 grand. I then sell the house to a big property developer here, same day, for 150K. He bites my hand off, because it's still 50K less than the full market value. He's happy, he's got another property in his portfolio, and a sitting tenant who's not only paying top whack rent, will be dead within a couple of years, leaving him with a house worth even more money. That is unbelievable. Yeah, certainly is. Yeah. Why don't the estate agent just go directly to the property developer? Because the estate agent doesn't know who the property developer is. He's my contact. Knowledge is everything in this game, Mel. You're not considering this, are you? What have you got to do with you? I thought I was your business associate. Look, it's not everyone's cup of tea. You do have to have fairly flexible morals. Flexible morals? You make Harold Shipman look like the flying doctor. I've heard enough. Sorry about him. He's very naive when it comes to business. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yes. Well, anyway, if you feel like turning five grand into 100, you've got my card. Tall and tender, and young and lovely. The girl from Ipanema goes walking in. When she passes each one, she passes girls. Cheap flight. How's it going? Everything sorted. I've been working on the mark. It'll give me anything I want. I bet you will. <laughs> anything else? Yeah. Staff pass key to every room in the place. Oh, you little beauty. Off the plane about eleven o'clock this morning. The plane from where? You don't change, do you? Eh? You're still the same nasty racist old bag you always were. Are you talking about it? Just ask where you flew from. How do you put up with it? How can I be a racialist? You've seen tells, little un. Anyway, there's no point trying to avoid them these days. They're everywhere. <sighs> Did you meet in Manchester? No. I was on holiday in India. We met in Varanasi. That's where Vikram's family are from. All oh, right. You went to India? Yeah. For an holiday? Yes. To India? Is she losing her hearing as well as the use of her legs? There's nothing wrong with my legs. Well, what are you doing in that wheelchair, then? Why should I walk around? I'm on my holidays. I'm entitled to take it easy. So, can he not speak any English at all? I feel awful talking about him as if he's not here. No, we can say hello and goodbye and please and thank you. Thank you. Oh, you'll be teaching him to ride a bike next. But what are we doing here, Ray? I mean, I don't like her, she doesn't like me, so what is the point? We don't have to keep on bumping into each other. We're only using this as a cheap base to do some sightseeing. I'm not going to be using the facilities here. Sightseeing around here? Yeah, what about that waterfall place we went to? That was lovely. Waste of time. Which is exactly what this is. Come on, Vicky. Well, that's it. Piss off and abandon me like you did before. Abandon you? Are you joking? Bit of a coincidence that you have been abandoned by me, Jackie, Cheryl, Mandy, Sharon and Maureen. People don't abandon you, Mother. You drive them away. I know why you're sniffing around here. You've got wind of my husband's money, haven't you? Well, you can go and whistle for it. I'll make sure you never get a penny. And if Mel dies before me, I'll leave it all to the dog's home. I would not take your money if I was on the bones of me ass, which is highly unlikely, as I'm a landlord with 14 houses and Vikram's gonna be a doctor. A doctor? What kind of a doctor? Bloody witch doctor. He doesn't speak any English. Boss! Boss. Boss. Where's he want to get a bus to? It means enough. And frankly, I think he's got a point. Come on. Very 
a difficult smell to get out of furniture. Curry. You know, it's Derek's opening gala for the Middlesbrough bag sexual leather and rubber ball tonight. Well, we knew that when we took the holiday. Such a shame. It'll be the first time we missed Gay Derek's opening since the late 80s. I wonder how he's getting on. Oh, why don't you give him a ring? What, at 35 pence a minute? Oh, yeah. Mind you, the holiday was free. What's that with the point? Uh, excuse me, I hope you don't think me rude, but I couldn't help overhearing were you talking about using your UK mobile to phone home? Yes, it's hellishly expensive. I think we'll stick to postcards. Well, have you ever thought about getting your phone chipped? Chipped? Yeah, it's not exactly legal, but it does save you a lot of money. Oh, yes. May I? Oh. Is there something wrong? Well, I don't believe it. This is a C260. I've not seen one of these for years. It's quite old. You, my friends, are in the possession of gold dust. How do you mean? I'm in the mobile phone business. I was going to offer to chip your phone for cheap calls. But this phone, this is the only mobile you can still completely bypass the network. You've lost us. I can alter this phone for a few quid to get completely free calls anywhere in the world. I'll buy this phone off you for 100 euros. Great! 100 euros apiece! Hang on, hang on. 200 euros for rare phones you can get unlimited free international calls from. <laughs> we're not as green as we're cabbage looking. But you don't know how to alter them. Knowledge is everything in this game. I'm sure we'll find somebody back home that can do it. The internet's not just for hardcore pornography, you know. I tell you what, over here they charge you, what, 30 euros each to get them done? <laughs> That's if you can find someone to do them for you. <laughs> I'll do them both for you for 60 euros. Oh, yes, please. 50. Oh, you drive a hot bargain. <laughs> All right, you got yourself a deal. <laughs> <laughs> and a receipt. Naturally. Received. 2C260 two two and 50 euros. For let's call it a um, repair. Sign it. There you go. I think that seems to be in order. Right. I'll get these phones back to you by tonight. And we'll be at Neptune's. Oh yeah, Neptune's. Yeah, of course. Oh, lovely. Ray Cosby, Cosby Communications. <laughs> he describes the phones as gold dust and then offers us a hundred euros each for them. You'll have to do better than that to pull the wool over my eyes. <laughs> oh, yes. I didn't know I had. Because my nana doesn't really talk to them. But aren't they nana's daughters? Yeah. And the aunties and my mum's sisters. But if the aunties are my mum's sisters, then how come they don't talk to my mum either? Well, they don't talk to my mum because she talks to me, Nana. That's stupid. Tell me about it. So, why don't you talk to Coolio's dad? Has that got anything to do with me, Nana? <laughs> Unbelievably, no. I don't understand why everybody can't just be friends. Well, it seems like they can't. Not while me Nana's alive, anyway. Hmm. Well, that means nobody's ever going to be friends. Cos me nana's gonna live forever. <laughs> Who told you that? Me nana. She's always been trouble, Valda. Always had ideas above her station. 
She says she's got 14 houses. Jesus. I knew she had a few, but not 14. How did you know she had houses? She went out with Graham Reed for a bit after she divorced what's his name? Barry. Well, no wonder Barry buggered off if she was carrying on with Pakistanis. That lad was Indian. I know. And she wasn't carrying on with the Indian lad when she got a divorce from Barry. Mick's just said she was carrying on with Graham Reed. Who the frig's Graham Reed? Friend of Mick's from rugby. Married to Jean Reed. Used to be Jean Berger. I can't listen to any more of this. Turning my brains to jelly. All right, I'll come with you. No, you're all right. Just want to stretch my legs. I have a shower, it's a bit hot. See you later, Mel. I know what he means about the weather. This hot sun isn't doing anything for my diarrhea. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I'm off on a drink, Trump. See him again. Aye. Yes, please. Much? Another prune juice? Oh. 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 Ah, gracias. Yeah. I used to be a barman, you know. Yes? Yeah, I worked for great fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, used to do a bit of magic behind the bar. Really? Oh, yes. Do you know magic? Absolutely. Do one thing for me. Oh, I don't really do it anymore. One second. I find for you. Yeah. No, no, I haven't done anything for ages. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hang on a minute. Okay, look at it. Put it back in the pack. Right. Ah, wait. I chuffle. Oh, you're not making this easy for me, are you? Right, now, I am going to find your card. Right now, I bet you one euro the next card that I turn over will be your card. One euro? Yeah, sportsman's bet. Maybe we can make the bet more interesting. Ten euros? <laughs> I don't know about that. Come on. You said you were a magician, no? <sighs> All right. Oh, hang on, that's a 50. You can place the bet. Oh, you're too quick for me, mate. I'll tell you what. I'm feeling lucky. Do you feel like making it 100? The next card you turn over has to be my card. I bet you 100 euros, the next card that I turn over will be your card. OK. all the money I have. Oh, here we go then. What? Ace of Arts, your card. But no, I thought you have... Ooh, knowledge is everything in this game, senor. Oh. Now that's what I call a woman. Yeah, she's very noisy in bed, though. <laughs> she certainly... Can she have some more of them diarrhea tablets? I'm sorry, my friend's not here at the moment. Well, our bag's here. Yes, but I can't go through someone else's bag without them there. Why not? My nana does it all the time. Yes, well, I'm sorry, but I can't do anything about it until she gets back. But my nana says she's gonna shit herself. <sighs> Please. No, nothing here. What about that bit with the zip? I'm really not comfortable doing this. Some bear. 
When it's all plop your pants. She couldn't move fast enough. If this keeps up, she'll have to ask Mel to get that scooter turbocharged. Where's my nanny? You're too late, son. She was off like a robber's dog. I got these tablets. These will work. They've got smiley faces on them. Oh, yeah. I'll give them to her later. Hang on a minute. Do you know what these are? The diarrhoea tablets. Oh, yeah. So they are. The boys watch the girls while the girls watch the boys and watch the girls go by. Oh, dear, I think you're in there, Mel. I was going to say I don't fancy yours much, but mine's not much better. Give over. <laughs> I didn't even notice them. Unlike you, I don't have a wandering eye for anything in a dress. Well, not anything in a dress. You're right, Madge. I'm fine. Oh, God, I think the one with the flower in her hair is definitely up for it, Mel. Good job she's not in an electric wheelchair. You'd have been over there like a rat up a drain fat. May come as a surprise to you as you sit there leering, but it's quite possible to communicate with the opposite sex without viewing them as sexual objects. You see, you don't have to... Jesus Christ, it's a fella. <laughs> Why don't you tell me it was a bloke? Don't worry. I'm sure he's not viewing you as a sexual object. OK, ladies and gentlemen, the first karaoke cab off the rank is young Michael Garvey. Hey, that's you, come on! Yeah. Come on, Michael! Go on, son! That fella's still looking at you, Mel. Bloody disgusting. What is? I pride myself on being very open-minded, but if there's one thing that's out of order, it's men pretending to be women. Men should be men, not prancing around like a bunch of Nancys. Here, here. The minute you walked in the joint Stand early for it these days, don't they? You don't think he is, do you? No. When I was his age, I listened to nothing but Shirley Bassey and Judy Garland. And look at me, an icon of manhood. That's true. Good time, let me show you a good time. He's good, isn't he? <laughs> He's a natural. I could see you were a man of distinction. We could have a kid, you know. There's only one thing wrong with that sentence. What's that? The words. We could adopt. Yes, with only Amy Winehouse and Vlad the Impaler before us on the waiting list. You'd make a great dad. I'd make a great house burglar if cat flaps were twice the size. Twice? You bitch! Hey, now, stop it. Stop it, or I'll ask your friends to come and sit with us. Oh, hello. We were going to order the lamb. Shall we just get it sent straight to your table? Good. Really good, son. Hey, how's that girl in your class that you like? Uh, what's her name? Nicola. I've gone off her. Really? Yeah. I hang around with a brother now. Stephen. Did you like my song, Nana? I wasn't really listening. Your Nana's not very well, Michael. Do you want another couple of them tablets, ma'am? <laughs> oh, yeah. Pass them all the... You only your second two. What's tickled your fancy? 
Nothing. Can I go say hello to my auntie father? Oh, typical. Sitting there supping the free booze after all that rubbish about, oh, we're not going to be using the facilities here. I asked her to come here so we can talk. And there she is, sitting with her back to us. That's how much she wants to talk. Come on, let's go over there. You can frig off. I'm staying here. I think Maggie's right. Let the mansion come to Mohammed. Thought his name was Vicky. What are you trying to do to me? What do you think? <laughs> do you know, Brandy, I've never been this happy in my entire life. You mean you've never been this strong? And, and who'd have thought it? Me, a middle-class, privately educated bloke with a, well, let's face it, a highly privileged background, and you, you from Liverpool. I mean, it shouldn't work, but it does. Oh, Martin, you know that money I asked to borrow? Yeah, yeah, it's safe somewhere in the apartment. Where? I've hidden it. Yeah, I know. Where? I'll tell you tomorrow. Walls have ears. <laughs> Is it under the bed? Yeah. Listen, I've got to go for a waz, but I just want you to know that I honestly think that ours was more than just a chance meeting. I've never been a big believer in fate, but I think you came into my life for a reason. I couldn't agree more. You just ask her out, son. Because I'm not interested. Well, he could do a lot worse. I just think whilst you're here is the perfect opportunity to build a few bridges. How are we supposed to do that when she won't even come over here to talk to me? OK, ladies and James. Next song of tonight is Madge singing Up, Up and Away, let's hear it for Madge! Is that me? Are they asking for me? I don't think you should go, Princess. You don't look right to me. Are you all right, Madge? I can see. I can see. <laughs> Madge! Oh, my God. Where are you going? To get the video camera. I'm not missing this. Let's hurry up. Like to ride in a beautiful balloon. How do you like to glide in a beautiful balloon? We could sail along the clouds together, you and I. Oh, we could fly. <laughs> oh shit! What do you think you're doing? I said, what do you think you're doing? Oh, no, you don't. Come here! 
Come here! Help! Help! What's going on? She's robbing the place! Don't just stand there, go and get somebody! Well, go on! to her jumping on me head. Look, why don't we all meet up tomorrow and have a drink? Are you joking? We are leaving first thing in the morning. We thought this place was cheap when we booked in. It just didn't feel like so cheap. It was nice to meet you. You? Janice. Crazy! All crazy? Ladies and gentlemen, can all residents please return to the apartments? There's been several reported burglaries in the Solanas and we require all residents to return to the accommodation immediately. Oh, my God! I'll go. I'm sorry, were you asleep? It's Martin. I'm, I'm so sorry, I've been such a fool. Sorry, sorry. I'm in Spain. In Benidorm. It was free. I've, I've lost everything. Money, passports, everything. Everything's been taken. Kate, I need you. I need you so much. If you missed the last episode of Benidorm, you can watch it with ITV Player. Available at itv.com slash ITV Player or on BT Vision and Virgin Media Digital TV On Demand. Over on ITV...